Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today we'll begin our third series, third part rather, third part in the series of basic math. The third series will begin today, which will go from day number 201 through day 300. The very first topic that we're going to cover in this third part of the series on basic math, the very first topic that we'll cover is right here, Venn diagram. We'll have 15 lessons, 15 videos, and today is the very first one. Problem, as you can see, it's already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it, shall we? We are told that 1200 students took a quiz. We are told that 1200 students took a quiz which consists of two questions. We are told that 65% of the people, 65% of the, 65 of the students, who took the quiz got the first question correct. The further tell us that 40% of the students who answered the, uh, took the quiz got the second one, second question as they answered correctly. We are further told that 30% managed to answer neither of these questions correctly. The question simply is how many students answered both of them, managed to answer both of these questions correctly. Let's see what we have. Let's, let's do the work here. 65% we are told answered the first question correctly, so here's our first question. Before we begin the work, I should point out here, I, before we actually get going, I should point out here that the way we're going to manage this question is to simply ignore the 1200 for the time being. Ignore the 1200 prob question, 1200 number of students, 1200, even though the question clearly said, question is clearly asking us how many, instead of worrying about how many, let's first figure out the percentage. Once we have the answer in percentage, then we can figure out how many at the very end. In other words, we're not going to waste our time trying to figure out 65% of 1,200 and 30 percent of 1,200 and 30. There's really too much work. It will be a waste of time. The most efficient, most direct, most, most straightforward method here is to simply deal with the percentage from the very beginning until the very end. And when we have the answer in percentage, just multiply that percentage by 1,200. Do you understand? Let's do it together. So first question we are told 65% of the people got it correctly, answered correctly. Second question we are told that 40% uh, of the people got answered correctly. If we add them up, we find that second question, we find that we get 105. We are further told that 30%, 30% answered neither. If 30% answered neither, if 30% answered neither, that in itself implies that 70%, you see I just told you, to, don't worry about it, and I did it myself. Let's not deal in percentage, let's just pretend 30. Okay, let's pretend there are 100 people. If 30 people answered neither of the questions correctly, that, that, imp, that in turn must imply that 70 people must have answered one or two or both. Makes sense, because there are 100 people. We are in, a, we in a percentage, there are 100, 100, it has to add up to 100. So if 30 people, if 30 people answered if 30 people answered neither, 70 must have answered either the first question correctly or second question correctly or perhaps both of them. 70% obviously because 100 minus 30. If we subtract 70 from here, that's the actual number of people, actual number of people who answered one or two or both correctly. The difference is 35. Now why do we have left 35 left over here? Why do we have an overflow of 35? This 70 represents the actual number of people, this 70 represents the actual number of people, actual number of people who answered one or two or both correctly. Once we subtract 70 from the total at the beginning, we have an overflow of 35. Why do we have 35 left over here? The 35 that is left over at the end, that's our Q, that's our hint here, uh, that uh, we, are, we, have, we have 35 too many. We have 35 too many. In other words, Another way of saying the same thing is that we have counted 35 people twice. We ended up double counting 35 people. 35 people. We ended up double counting 35 people. Where do where are these 35 people going to show up? Let's take a look at it in terms of Venn diagram. In terms of Venn diagram, there's our first people who answer the first question correctly. There's the people who have the second question correctly. Here's a universal set. And we know that the number of people who answered first question correctly or second question correctly or either of the, or both is only 70 right here, which means 30 percent 
but so answered neither. It's right there, thirty percent. That's the percentage that, that answered neither of those two questions correctly. So we have sixty-five here. Number of number of people who got the first question correct. Forty over here. When we add them up, we get 105. 105 minus 70, which is the if 30 people answered neither, that means 70 percent must have answered one or two or both. The difference is 35. That 35 is double counted, and since it's double counted, it must appear in this area. These 35 people are first counted at the number of people who answered first question correct, and then these same people, th these same 35 people are counted again as the number of people who got second question correct. As soon as we insert 35 in the common area, as soon as we insert any number here, we have to immediately go back and adjust these figures. These 35 people are coming from these 40. Out of these 40 people, what we are saying is that out of these 40 people, 35 of these 40 people, 35 of these 40 people also managed to get number one right. In other words, there were five people who answered only number two, but not number one, only number two. Similarly here, we had 35 to begin with, 35, uh, 65 to begin with, 65 people got question number one correct. Out of those 65 people, 35 people also managed to get question number two correct. As soon as we put 35 there, we have to go back and subtract 38. That's it, we are done. What was the question? How many answered both were right here? 35%, there you go. How many answered both? The answer is 35%. These are percentages, 35%. The rest is very simple. We just have to multiply 35 by 1200. 35 by 1200. Instead, instead of multiplying instead of multiplying 12 by 35, if you do it that way, you'll end up multiplying by 5 and a 3 because I don't know the table of 35. Do you know the table of 35? Of course not. Let's do 35 times 12. Let's do 35 times 12. 12 times 5, 12 times 5 is 60. That's 0. Here is 6. 12, 3, 12, 3 is a 36. 12, 3 is 36, 36 plus 6, 36 plus 4 would, be, would have been 40, so it's 42. There you go, that's it. And since these are already percentages, that's it, it's 420 out of 1200. We don't have to stick the two zeros there, because this is 35% of 1200. This is a percentage and this is 100, then you get each other. 35%, 35% 35 of 1200, percent means percent means 35 over 100, 35 over 100 times 100, they're going to negate each other. That is the answer. 420 people, 420 people, and this 35 percent turns out to be 420 people. 420 people answered both of them correctly. You want to do one more? Let's do one more. I feel that I explained way too much. I'll try not to do, I will try not to explain too much in the next problem, okay? It's a very similar question. It's not a very similar question. It is a similar question. Here's the question. The logic, the rationale, the method, nothing is going to change. We have 80 people. We have 80 people who apply for a job. 80 people we are, we are told have applied for a job. Out of those 80 people, we, we, we know that 35, 65 of them have 65 of them have some sort of experience. We are further told that out of those 80, 80 people who applied for the job opening that we have, 50 of them happen to have some sort of a college degree. Some sort of a college degree. And five of the people who applied have, have neither. They have neither the college degree nor any kind of experience. Do you understand? These people are Novices. Novices in the sense that they have no experience. Let's, let's do it together. This word came out of nowhere and I don't have my vocabulary cards with me. Uh, but it came out of nowhere so we have to learn it. Novice. Tyro. A novice, a tyro, is someone who is a beginner. Somebody, a person who has no experience. Somebody who is new at something. Somebody who is green. That's how we say it. If somebody who's green, that means that person hasn't been around. That person, uh, that, that person doesn't have experience. They're nows. They're tyros. They are, they are, they are beginners. Five people, or rather, uh, sixty-five people. They have no experience. They have no experience, no degree. Let's continue here. I'm taking too long. So if you add up eighty plus sixty-five, eighty plus sixty-five, we get five and one forty-five. 
Oh, sorry, not, that's not what I meant to do. This is, this is stupid. 80 is the total. 80 is the total. I'm not paying any attention. 65% have experience. 65 people have experience. 50 people have degree. 50 people have degree. It adds up to 115. In reality, we know, in reality, we know that it should add up to 75 because out of 80 people, out of 80 people who applied for the job, five of them have neither the degree nor a job experience. If they have neither degree nor job experience, this in terms implies, this in terms implies that 75 them, of them have, have either, either 75 of them have, have either, I don't know how to spell either, have either experience or degree or both. 75 of the people have either an experience, some sort of some sort of experience or a college degree or both. 75 people. But here when we add up these two numbers, 65 of them have experience, 50 of them have degree. When we add up these two figures, it comes out around 150 or 115. It should be 75. 75 is the actual number of people. 75 is the actual number of people who have either experience or a degree or both. The difference is 40. Now what does that 40 tell us? That 40 tells us that 40 people, this 40 tells us that there are 40 people who are double counted. 40 people, 40 people are, double counted. These 40 people are counted first as a group of people who have some sort of a college degree. These same 40 people are counted again as the group of people who have some sort of experience because these 40 people happen to possess both of these characteristics these 40 people happen to have both of the qualities they have a, they have a college degree and some job experience that is our common element let's show it on the Venn diagram here so here's our job experience here's our degree we know that 65 of them have 65 of them have experience Oh, I never told you what the question was asking. The question was asking, obviously, well, the question is asking actually many things. There are, it's a three-part three question. The question was, how many, how many have, how many have, number one, only experience, number two, only a degree, and number three, both. And the answer to all of these three questions is going to appear at once together in the Venn diagram, as we will see. So 65%, 65 people we are told have experience, we put it here. 50 people have degree, we put it here. When we add up 65 and 50, we end up with 115, when you know that only 75, 75 people happen to have a degree or experience or both. It's only 75 people. That means 40 people are double counted. They are first counted as, as, as the people who have experience and then for same 40 people are counted as the people who have the degree. As soon as we put a number in the, in the common area, we have to go back and adjust these figures immediately. Out of this 50, out of this 50 people who have a college degree, 40 of them also happen to have experience, which means there are only 10 people, on, there are only 10 such people who have a college degree but no job experience. There is your answer. How many of oh, we have? Only degrees, we just did this here, 10 of them. Only degrees, 10 of them. As soon as we put 40 here, out of the 65 people, out of the 65 people who have the job experience, out of the 65 people, 40 of the 65 people also have a college degree. As soon as we put a 40 here, we have to go back and subtract 40 from it, it becomes 25. In other words, there are 25 people who have a job experience, but they never went to college. 25 people have job experience, but they never went to college. They only have job experience, 25 of them. How many of them have both? It's right there, it's 40 of them. Now these three figures, if you add up, these three figures, when we add up, they should add up to what number? They should add up to, they should add up to 75, because five of them have neither. So, to complete our Venn diagram, we put a universal set outside. These will be the people who have these will be the people who have neither the college degree 
no job experience they don't fall in this and in this set because they have no experience therefore they won't fall in this set because they don't have any degree they have neither degree nor job experience five here but these three figures should add up to 75 and 75 plus a 5 should add up to 80 25 there we go 25 20 plus 40 is 60 60 plus 10 is 70 70 plus 5 is 75 and 75 plus 5 is 80 you see that always make sure at the end you add up everything as a verification to make sure that you did not end up making some careless mistakes do you understand I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.